just put yourself in these guys' shoes as we watch them make that horrible rally-ending mistake. As most of us know, crashing is a horrible experience. But when your car is worth almost half a million pounds and your livelihood depends on driving it, not crashing it, there's no wonder they show a range of emotions after and off. Something Yaddy Matty Latvala famously displayed in Germany last year. Germany was a really important rally for me last year because um, I had only, I wasn't doing so many WRC events with the with the World Rally Car last year, and uh, we did the first one was Catalonia. I went off the road. Next one was Corsica. I went off the road and I broke my thumb. The third one was to Germany, so I really thought that now is my chance if I want to get more world rallies next year with a world rally car. Germany normally was a good rally for me in the past, so I thought that, okay, this year I might have a chance to make a good result now. I went to the first stage and it was really, really sleepy conditions and uh, I just, uh, I was thinking that I was breaking it enough early. Like it was a long, long downhill section, there was like a 90 right in the, in the bottom. And I thought that it was early enough, but unfortunately that was really extremely slippy in the in the in the end, and uh, I just locked the brakes and straight to the armco, and we crashed the front of the car, and we had to retire. <laughs> hey, rauhoitu, rauhoitu. I was thinking in that moment that this will be end of my career. Then. But poor old Yari Matti's not the only driver to wear his heart on his sleeve. Here's Danny Sordo. <laughs> to be fair to him, he was in the middle of a horrendous run of form. Edda Solberg's also proved that big boys do cry. He was leading in Japan and on the penultimate stage when this happened. <laughs> Can you tell us how it happened? The shock, the embarrassment, the misery of it all. Here's another tearjerker, this time from Xavier Ponce's co-driver, Carlos Del Barrio, after he loosed his place in the pace notes. Something Chevy didn't seem too impressed with, especially when he went off. It's all too much. Some drivers respond with anger rather than distress. Francois Delacour, French, flamboyant and flaming angry. Il était trop tard Nous humains, non, c'est dix fois trop tard